What's happening guys, Chris here, and today I'll be going over that burst rifle in Doom's online multiplayer. The gun fires in two alternate modes, its primary mode being a free round burst, dealing a steady amount of damage, and its secondary fire being that weapon mod, allowing you to shoot high powered semi-auto rounds instead. The gun holds a maximum ammunition count of 90 rounds, which equates to 30 bursts or 90 shots in semi-auto. Each successful hit to the body from that free round burst is going to knock off 10 health per round. So it's possible to deal 30 damage points for every burst that you unleash on another player. Though this damage is going to be boosted up to 15 for every round that you can manage to land on an opponent's head. So it's even possible to dish out high damages of up to 45 per burst. If you manage to adjust your aim to land those headshots. Though getting free hits to land on someone's head is definitely easier said than done. But doing so successfully is going to rapidly lower another player's health and really help you out in a firefight. Either way, the gun still fires its bursts in a fairly quick succession, and doesn't leave too much of a gap in between each burst. So providing you're on target, you should be able to wipe out other players over pretty much any range. Though because the primary burst mode is fired from the hip, it makes it more suited for engaging enemies at those closer to medium ranges, down to the lack of zoom or optics. With all that said, this is where the burst rifle's weapon mod comes into play. Activating the weapon mod switches the rifle into a semi-automatic single shot mode. This also zooms your sights in slightly, giving you a more accurate reading on targets in the distance, and makes the weapon better suited for longer range battles too. The semi-auto mode also has a different damage output from the burst, as it now deals slightly more per round, with a body shot taking away 16 health and a headshot taking away 24. The single shot mode is a great way for chipping away at health at longer ranges, as it's usually easier to land those shots, with that added zoom helping you to get on target. Though typically, landing 3 successful shots from the burst fire is going to deal a similar sort of damage to landing 2 shots from the semi-auto weapon mod, and in those shorter ranges, landing a burst on an enemy is usually going to be the easier thing to do, making the weapon mod less effective in those closer distances. The burst fire is much easier to spam, with the semi-auto mode firing slightly slower than the burst, and so missing a few shots in burst fire isn't going to be as punishing as missing in that single shot mode. So because of this, I'd highly recommend reserving the weapon mod for medium to long range engagements only, as this is where it's better suited. Now when picking secondary weapons, because the burst rifle is very versatile, being a fairly good well rounded weapon for most ranges, it means that there isn't an obvious go to gun, that's going to up your game drastically and cater for the burst rifle's weaknesses. But even though the burst rifle can pull its weight in both shorter and longer distances, its optimal range for being most effective will probably be at mid to long ranges with the fact that you still need to be quite accurate to kill those enemies quickly, leaving less room for error, and with the gun also having that added benefit of being able to switch firing modes on the fly. So to cater more so for those up close and personal ranges, a super shotgun or combat shotgun will be an ideal option to fill this void, and help you out more so when someone decides to get too close for comfort. The burst rifle is still a viable way of dispatching other players at these closer ranges too, but a blast from the shotgun to the face is going to be a much bigger impact on an enemy's health and armour, and is also going to be easier to land than those burst rifle shots too. So generally speaking, the burst rifle is a fairly safe bet for most ranges, and it's one of the more versatile weapons to pick out from the bunch, being able to work well over most distances. Its free round burst should be used for closer to medium range battles, and the weapon mod reserved for longer distances. You do need to be quite accurate with the gun in order to do well, though because it fires fairly quickly, you should be able to steadily deal damage, providing you're on target. It's a good all rounder, and it's a balanced weapon to pick, catering for most situations. So that's pretty much it for this one guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, slap that thumbs up button if you did, and be sure to subscribe to see more guides on Doom, and a load of other stuff new and upcoming. Thanks for watching, take it easy, and I'll see you in that next one.